In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to align the x and y axis to be perfectly perpendicular, and we'll be putting the aluminum sheet onto the table and gluing it down. Hello and welcome back. Over the last couple of weeks, I've made a number of improvement and changes to this machine. Um, I didn't tape all of them because I didn't have the time and uh, for a lot of time my workspace was occupied and I had to go somewhere else to do this. Uh, but overall I've done the following things. I replaced the stepper motors that were on here with uh, smaller ones. I took it all apart and put it back together again just to make sure that everything um, is laid out the way it's supposed to be and I went ahead and I also made sure that everything is standing upright the way it should be. Now what I still have to do is I have to make sure that all the axes are perpendicular to each other and uh, the way I'm doing this is pretty simple. I'm using a cutter mat like this one here and I'm putting the machine onto it so one of the axes is uh, perfectly on one line and then I line up the other axis on its posts to another line and you can actually see if I put this over here um, that the alignment for here is not perfect. So you can see that I'm actually right on top of a line here and there's some space left over here and I'm going to open the nuts on the threaded rods and I'm going to move on the table axis a little bit at the top to the right and I'm going to do this right now and after that uh, we'll continue Okay now, I'm at a point where I'm very happy um, with the setup. I will now be adding uh, the table to these posts. Um, I will be going for, I suppose, either double-sided tape or uh, I will use some, um, some special glue to glue this on. Before I do that, I'm going to put Loctite on all of the nuts on here uh, because I won't be able to uh, remove the table as easy um, as I could do before. I suppose that this will be okay. And uh, after that, let's have a look again. So now most of the parts here are glued in place. It will take some time until this harden, hardens out. Um, probably half an hour or so. We've got this one. Then I'm going to get the table and 
see if we can get this attached in a way that it fits good and it also looks good. So I decided to go with glue and uh, I'm kind of already regretting that decision but let's wait this one out maybe that wasn't so smart but uh, still hoping This glue needs uh, about 15 minutes to dry um, before you apply the separate pieces. I made pretty good, um, I've had good results with it. I suppose it will be up to the task of holding uh, the top part down. In any case, if it doesn't work out, I can always go and uh, redo it. In that case, uh, glue might be the right decision. If I have to do it over, I will probably be happy that I've used the glue because you could just um, take a screwdriver or something and pop it back off. I just hope that it that it holds out to the tension that is going to be on here. So I'll just let this stuff dry for a bit and um, then I'm going to put it on and center it and make sure that nothing is on the, uh, on the rods so we don't get any of that goo into the linear bearings. That would be really good. Alright, I believe enough time has passed. Um, the glue on here has uh, solidified at the top and uh, let's put it on. Right. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm actually putting the table on a little bit off-center because the tool is always going to be on this side, so it's um, more important to have um, the aluminum sheet down here because I'm never going to do work up here. Um, it needs to be enough room so I can um, glue something down, but the real work um, is always going to happen down here, so I'm pulling the sheet a little bit um, over to my right side. So let's see if this is... on straight. Uh, once again for these for these things I'm using the um, the cutter sheet. And that's a pretty good tool to make sure that things are in line. Okay, I kind of like this. I'm going to leave it like this let it dry for a couple of hours. Uh, so for today um, this is it. This is the machine. Basically uh, the the lower the table part is done. I don't have any tool holder yet. 
I'm working on that. I had an idea for a design, but it didn't work out. I'm working on something different now. Everything looks very nice. Um, in fact, it looks more than nice. It looks almost professional, which is, of, of course, it's not. But uh, anyway, I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to see if it still moves, if it rattles. I'm going to hook up these steppers so I can do a few movements with this. And when I'm done, I'm going to report back. Thank you very much for watching, and bye-bye.